Hey everybody, good evening. We are here for some merch talk. You're loud. Huh? huh? Loud. Am I loud? Loud. Well, I don't care. I've been yelling at everybody all day. You're just next, okay? Jeff. I'm used to it. What? I'm used to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, hello everybody. Thanks. Thanks for coming to hang out tonight. Well, two of you. Two. Come on, there's more than two people there. There's like 12 people. They're just two are saying, hey. Well, one's me. One's you. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm talking about in the chat. It's late. This is why we do it at noon. He's an old man, and I, and I get grumpy after dealing with kids all day. <laughs> That's not true, but slightly true. Just today. Yeah. So how's it going? It's going. It's a roller coaster, like always. So, is that you? No, that's Chris. Well, it is me, but it's Chris. Oh, okay. And he can't make it. Yeah, he's going to work. I don't know if Joe's going to pop in. I asked Nick, so he may jump in in just a minute, so that's cool. Come on, Nick. He had to do something. He'll be here in a minute, maybe. Yeah, I was going gangbusters on, on pace for a record month. You know, more than December, more than Q4, and it just kind of puttered the past few days. You know, with I was going, you know, double digit days. Yeah. A few of them, and now it's today. I'm at three. Yesterday, I had three. Um, yeah. Mine, well, mine have been kind of a roller coaster too, but I don't know. Yeah, I'll have like a day with two sales. And then 11 sales, and then two sales, well, you know, eight sales. Oh, well. I haven't been uploading very much. Me either. I created a couple new shirts, I think, this week, and I've, I've been doing re-uploads, but all of a sudden, I haven't had any re-uploads to do. Now will lead us into another topic here shortly. Yeah. But, Amazon be broken. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, so let's talk about that because we're there. You want your numbers, Chris? Oh, sure, sure. Let's see numbers. I'm so off, y'all. And if you guys have, um, oh, no, RJ and Matt are on now, too. See, we don't normally go live right now, so apologies, RJ and Matt. Who's RJ and Matt? Whatever. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I don't know who they are. You don't know who RJ is? No. Martinez? Who? Okay, never mind. He's got a channel. He talks about merch all the time. Oh, no. I guess we should have him on sometime. I know, the, the weird, the thing is, like, I, you may not know this about me, but I'm shy to talk to people I don't know. So I know they do merch stuff, but unless somebody like introduces me or something like that, I'm I'm weird about approaching people. Yeah, we're more important, I guess. What? So. <laughs> 32 people here now. So. Is that Matt um, with S Matt C something? I don't, I don't know. Does he run a site? Does he have a uh, buy my design site or something? That's the only Matt I. I'm not sure. Aware not... of. Yeah. I don't know. Emails. Oh. Emails. I don't know. Matt Cutler or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, they do bigger numbers. Ryan saying it's cool. I mean, yeah, but we're the average people. We're not the <laughs> level 8,000 selling triple digits a day like Young and Glenn. And we're the everyday person. That's why people love us. It's not a competition. We relate better. What? We're just like you. <laughs> okay, what's your numbers? My numbers so far. Oh my God. This month, I've, I've sold 112 shirts. I'm cool. sure you're beating me this month. Um, just by a little, not much. Um, I'm at 137 right now. 137. Like because my that makes my dollars more in line with what I was doing last year. You know, I've been slowly changing my prices. You know, I see a sale, I go change the price, so the next sale's higher. So yeah. I'm, I'm over six hundred dollars now, and that's what I was doing pretty much last year every month. At least, you know, five fifty to six fifty was my average. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm at four sixty right now. 
Four sixty with one twelve. What are you pricing at? Twelve bucks. Well, I told you this month I had. I'm sorry. I thought I just heard bad words flying out of my kid's mouth over there. Um, where would he have learned that? But I had a shirt that sold, and it was a premium shirt that I had listed, pretty, you know, lower, and I hadn't really sold a lot. And then it sold like eleven of them, mm -hmm. and the profits were like fifty cents or something. On it. I don't do that no more. <laughs> No, as soon as I, Michael, too loud, babe. Okay. Um, yeah, so as soon as I saw that, I raised the price on the shirts, but. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My others, I've been selling a few on eBay. I've sold a few on eBay this past week. And um, I just saw, what's her name, Virginia, make a comment. Hello. Virginia, I'm sorry. Hello. But uh, yeah, my other platforms have been selling shirts. And that's what I, I love when they sell shirts, so I don't have to lift a finger. Absolutely. I mean, and and that's the that's the thing too, because I haven't really been listing very much, so I'm grateful that I'm making any sales at all, because things have just been crazy. So, just uh, let us know in the chat because we've got 36, 37 people. You know what? What do your numbers look like and everything like that? Murphy the S is asking, would love. Tips on what to put in titles and bullets. Who, what, where, and why? Who, what, where, and why? Who would who, wear what it? Is it? What, yeah, who would wear it? What is it? Maybe where you'd wear it. You know, great party shirt or a great bar shirt or something like that. Why you That's all I do. I just describe it. Who might like it and where it might be worn. I try to think about who's going to different verbiage for who would wear it too yeah if it's like a workout shirt i'll make sure i put like trainer what else workout uh yeah you have a friend that is into physical fitness or a trainer this would make a perfect gift for them for any occasion like christmas birthday or whatever boom wear it to your next race or <laughs> Lifting event, <laughs> you know, are you a bodybuilder? Good on your body. <laughs> You're welcome. So yeah, that's that's exactly what I do. Yeah. I, I think people put too much stress on themselves and think about stuff too much and have to research for half an hour or whatever. I just make a design, I like it, and I just toss that out there. And then another thing I do is I'll get I'll go because I use Merch Informer, and so I'll go on there and type in like what my shirt is, and I'll find similar type ones. Can y'all turn Alexa off, please? Um, I'll type in like what my shirt is, and similar ones will pop up. And the ones that are ranked really high, I don't copy theirs verbatim, but I'll see like what kind of keywords they've thrown in there, and I'll kind of list some extra keywords from there. Me too. That's about the extent of research I do. Hey, Nick. Hey, hey, what's going on? What up, Black Panther? <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> what's up, Killmonger? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen the movie yet, so. Have you not? No, I don't tend to go to theaters that much anymore because, yeah, you got an arm and leg to get in there with a popcorn, even on matinee. So I wait till it comes out on Netflix or on Apple TV, at least. Hmm. I'm gonna buy it. I just saw Thor the last week or so, two weeks ago. Okay, so real in all seriousness, I just saw Thor too. Like I, I, I did. So I, I haven't even seen I was it. A little late on. Oh man, Thor, one of the best Marvel movies. Is this the Ragnarok one? Yeah. Yep. I always love Black Panther to care, compare it to, but as far as comedy and everything, it's one of the best movies. I would give Thor. I, I would honestly give Thor and Black Panther top five. Yeah. But, it, yeah. All I can say is Naked Hulk, but that's my best part. <laughs> <laughs> you got to see it for that. <laughs> yeah, you got to see it. So how I'm actually going to go against my best wishes and go get uh, Justice League, too. I like that. I mean, it's not anywhere up ranked high, but I enjoyed it. I'll check it out. All right, this is not... Superhero chat. I tried, I tried to pull it. So I was like, how are your numbers, Nick? How are you? Then you know what? It's It's been up. Honestly, it's it's been up. February was rough. 
Yeah. February was really, really rough. March has been up. Um, I think for this week, I'm at 31. Um, I want to say I'm like 120 on royalties right now. So it's, it's, it's been, it's been better. That's better good. than it's been. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And I'm getting a lot of old shirts too that are selling again. Yeah. So, my new uh, ones haven't, I think I had one new, sh one shirt I published this year has sold besides that and all oldies. No, that's a good, I mean, one of my, one of my older, older ones for sure sold, but I need to look at that. Yeah. I mean, I had a few um, Black History shirts that sold. So, I mean, they were new. Uh, some Mardi Gras shirts that sold. But, I mean, outside of holiday stuff, I mean, in St. Patrick's Day, outside of holiday stuff, none of my new ones have really sold. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. And I, I heard Young say something similar to that. So, I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering if it's a thing. Yeah, I'm looking at mine. It's one of my really old ones sold. One of my, like, Trump election shirts sold. That's how old it is. <laughs> That leads into one of my pet peeves. What? Red hair. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, I saw, you know, it's prevalent in all the other groups except for Merch University, but it crept into Merch University this week, and it has not made me happy. It's the complaint that Amazon is broken in the sense that I've got no sales when I had sales last week. People got to realize that this type of market, this type of industry, whatever, it's going to go on a roller coaster. It's going to go in cycles. There's no rhyme or rhythm. There's no mathematic formula. Stephen Hawking's couldn't even figure it out. God rest his soul. But um, yeah, it's just gonna. You're gonna have sales one week, one day, and the next day, zip. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you can't count. Like there are months that I was like, oh, I was almost at two thousand, like last summer. And yeah. I, you can't think to yourself, well, that means I'm going to have this much every month from now on. You can't. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's, you have your shirts and niches out there. There's got to, just by mathematic probability, there's got to be days that no one wants shirts and those niches. You know, right. it's got to happen. So don't assume there's a conspiracy out there to stop your sales. <laughs> Amazon breaks all the time, but not in that way. And to add to that, I think, and I know I'm guilty of it, and I know, Marcus, you said that you were guilty of it as well. I think when we put so much stock just in merch because it starts getting good, and it's like, okay, let me put all my energy into it. Like, I feel so bad about my Red Bubble account. And I, when I got a sale last week, I was like, oh, okay, I need to show you some attention again. It's like you can't just put all your eggs in one basket. You know, there are days I've had where my Teespring account outsold my merch account. So, I mean, it's, it, you just have to prepare for it. It happens. And then I'll go three or four months without selling one single shirt on Teespring. So it just, it's just kind of the nature of the beast. Yeah. 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 And Ryan was saying those people are toxic. I mean, even when you have your down days, you gotta, I don't want to be cliche ish, but keep your chin up, keep your head up, think positive. The next day is going to be something different. Right. You know, and like uh, Nick just said, Focus on another area, uh, so that way they, it balances out. And then when that one day when all your platforms tank, <laughs> then you can cry and say the conspiracy against you in the universe. All right. But mathematically, one day all those roller coasters are going to get in sync, and there will be a day where all your platforms are down. And I have those. I've had those days. eBay is down. Red Bubble's down. Merges down. Let's go outside yeah. and my fish. <laughs> I just had a sale on Etsy, so yay. Yay. I know. It was a glass bowl, so <laughs> I don't have to move it. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, Etsy is a big example because I'm now a newbie in Etsy, and so I, it's going to take time for me to get that momentum, so I have a couple sales a day, and then – Nothing for a couple of days. And so what I do, I just load up more. Yeah, yeah. You're just front loading it. That's the thing. That's how I look at it. You're like shoving food in the beast. <laughs> and then the beast does its thing with money. Um I wanna well, we're on the Metsy, I do want to mention something that 
someone reminded me of today that I didn't realize, but starting tomorrow, et oh, I'm doing my hand thing again, damn Chris, but um, Etsy is doing a, <laughs> a week-long sale for spring, and they're going to be promoting all sorts of people if you have your store on sale or have items on sale. So go to your Etsy store right now and create a sale of all your items or certain items and mark it for tomorrow through March 29th is what the sale is. Let me write that so down. that's an Etsy wide, like I said, they're going to be promoting people that have sales going. So if you have an Etsy store, hop on it. I need to go do that on my other Etsy stores. If Barbara House is out there, I don't think she watches this show, but she's the one that tuned me in. So thank you to her, because otherwise I would have been clueless. I'm looking in the chat, we got lots of friends there. Murphy, the S. Thumb crack pickers up in the UK. Late. There's Neville. Neville. No, Neville's in Australia, I think, right? I like bum crack pickers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming. Okay, we were going to talk about the whole glitch thing that's going on on Amazon right now. Oh, yeah. So I noticed that I had some shirts in processing and I hadn't been uploading any shirts. So I went to look yeah. and I've got shirts that are pending removal. No, no. they say pending removal, but they're under the processing. Do you have that too? I had that too. And then I clicked the shirts and they are gone. They have been removed. So I'm gonna go re-upload them tonight. Yeah, I just clicked them too. Did you have that too, Nick? I did. I actually had a few that just kind of popped up on the uh, front page, and it's like, like they were processing, and I was like, okay, no, the two that I've had processing for three months now are still not done processing, but then the other ones pop up like they are. So I, I didn't know what it was, and then I have a few that are pending removal that were like loaded a couple of weeks ago. So I, <laughs> it makes me wonder what else, what other code they're messing with on the back end, you know? They're doing that um, overhaul right now of changing all of the, the bullets in the photos to the new, um, the new, new shirt, the new model shirt. And so every once in a while you will see some pop up in processing and that's what they're doing. And that's what I thought those were. I thought those were pending removals that just happened to, pop up in the process but no they're actually removed and they got the wrong tag on them so yeah that, yeah maybe that's what's causing the slow it's a conspiracy there's always something right <laughs> hey i say just let them do what they need to do to make the platform better yeah, just whatever it is it'll pass they're yeah. they're like google they're going to be tweaking the code every single day for infinium or whatever the word is for infinity and beyond but i i would rather them do that you know go ahead and make the small tweaks like there's another smaller site that i uh sell on and it's just today they sent out this email where it's like oh well the site might be down because we're <laughs> making some changes who in the world shuts down their entire marketplace to do changes i would much rather you do the small changes and the small little inconvenience of something popping up looking weird than shutting down for a day. Like that's, that's ridiculous. To me. If would Amazon happen. did that, people would lose their minds. Yeah, they would. It wouldn't happen to be Scott's marketplace. Would it be? <laughs> no, this is, I have a, no, one of the marketplaces, one of the niches that I'm selling really hot right now coming off of black history month was about HBCUs. And so this website is called we buy black. And so it's like this, it's an online marketplace. It's structured to be kind of like Amazon, but with all these different independent sellers. And like I said, the whole site went down. And it was like, how in the hell do you do that? Like, who lets the whole site go down? Like, are we serious? Yeah. But, you know. So I'll take the small changes day in and day out. And everybody, it's not the end of the world. Amazon does, I think they got a pretty good grip on this thing. So. Yeah, like so they'll be making code changes every day. They'll notice something. They'll tweak this. Google does the same thing every day, and then they have a semi-major update that comes out every two weeks, and you don't really notice it. But I mean, unless you're a a niche marketer or got your website, and all of a sudden you drop and rank by three pages, 
and you got to start working it back up again. But it's, it's life in the internet world. Yeah, Matt says because it's not like they don't want to make money. I mean, there's yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, totally. So, what niches have been selling well for y'all? <laughs> I'm still doing heavy in uh, Second Amendment stuff. In fact, I just got a huge order of decals, all Second Amendment decals, and then a shirt to go along with it. That's been my biggest seller right now. Really? Second Amendment stuff. Yeah. I don't think I have very many Second Amendment shirts up. I've only, I think I may have 10, but out of that 10, six of them are selling really strongly right now. In religion. My number one shirt this month actually became my number two shirt overall all time this week because it's been hot. So religion and guns. When is Earth Day? Because I feel like I'm selling Earth Day. Earth Day is not till summertime, I think. May? April? There's a world, there's a world um, day coming up. World Environment Day, I think it is. Yes. Well, I thought it was in like May or though. May or June. Well, Joe, we'll make it the summer. Oh my. April 22nd. <laughs> well, I mean, we're already almost in April, so maybe people are. Is that Earth Day or Environment Earth Day? Day? Earth Day is April 22nd. Oh. So it's not too far off. I don't know. Oh, Environment Day is on in June 5th. So I guess I had it backwards. Yeah. I was a little lazy when it came to Earth Day, and it may be the reason that those shirts aren't selling. I just basically took my uh, World Smile Day designs <laughs> and uh, retooled them as Earth Day. And that might have something to do with the fact that they're not selling. So. <laughs> I'll just put a smile on everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> Make Earth smile again. No? <laughs> that might actually sell. I know, right? Uh, think about it. If I put the, <laughs> there'll be ten thousand of them up tonight, but okay, it's yeah. okay. Real great again. Matt is asking, "How was your mother Father's Day last year?" I was okay. I didn't do a whole lot of it. It was one of those that I wish I had done more. Well, Mother's Day, I didn't do any shirts, and I didn't see it really an impact. But Father's Day, I only had a couple Father's Day shirts, but overall. I sold a lot of shirts in June. June was my second highest next to December. I feel ashamed to say I didn't I didn't do any Mother's or Father's Day shirts last year. I had just gotten on merch like well technically I was on merch at the end of February, but of course they didn't send the email to tell me and so yeah. I happened to log in like nearly before it was time for them to shut down the account. But I just I did I didn't do them and then I didn't do any on any other marketplaces so I don't know what was wrong with me like last year I was a little crazy when it came to it I was pushing all evergreens at the time but for whatever reason like I didn't do Mother's Day I didn't do Father's Day I swore up and down that nobody in their right mind would ever buy an eclipse design so it just I, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't listen to me cry when it comes to the well, the same way. I saw the eclipse, the beginning of the eclipse shirts way before the craze happened. And I started working on one and I got so anal about it and I couldn't get right. So I said, screw it. No one's going to buy them anyway. And so I just forgot about it. And then the craze hit. And uh, bye. Have fun. Um, what is Gay Silent Day? I'm sorry. I told you, I was not even going to read it out loud because I thought it was a thing or not a thing. Oh, I'm sorry to read it out loud, but... And I don't want to Google it because then I'm like, I don't know if I want to Google that. <laughs> I mean, I know there's Pride Week and I have Pride shirts up, but I don't know what gay hunting is. I have a, I have a rainbow pickle shirt up. <laughs> so there. Rainbows. I need to go put a pickle so pot announcement uh i i posted that uh printful has pushed through their all over backpacks today so you can now push those to etsy in your website i pushed a few of those through so and i have sold one swimsuit 
so far? I haven't tried uh, the mock-up for the book, the backpacks yet. Does it have to be multiple, or can you do just one print, like square on the back of it? Um, it's five. There's, if you don't do the all the sides, it's going to be white. So yeah, you could probably could just do a design just to stick on the back. But if you're going to do all over, it's five different panels, I think. Because you have to do the back, the back pocket, the edging, the bottom. You can make them all different? Yeah. yeah. You just go next? Yeah. You can download the template so you can actually put in whatever you're going to put in so you can see what it's going to look like. But there's five different panels. I just got a big square pattern that I've been using for my leggings. I just put those up for all five panels. It looks fine. Did the same thing for swimwear. And I sold a bikini already. Was it a bikini or one piece? I think it was a one piece. What is the backpack material? Is it like a canvas or? Um, I'd have to look that up. I don't know. Because now I'm like, I want to make one for me. I need a backpack. Right. <laughs> mm. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, that's just all shirts. I don't know. Let me go to my Etsy and I'll see what it says there. Goodness. Okay. I think it looked like just, I guess you call it canvas. White canvas. That'd be cool. Canvas. If you guys have any questions in the chat too, we're just kind of hanging and chatting tonight. Made from 100% polyester, waterproof material. I'm going to get one. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm just saying, I'm going to try to make one and, and get it and see, like order one. Silky lining, piped inside hems, and a soft mesh back. Padded aerogonomic bag straps from polyester. The base price is $35, though. It is kind of, well, I guess nice backpacks like this are pricey. Well, I'm just like, if I do like pickles on the side and hot dogs on the back and like <laughs> cakes in the middle. I mean, it's going to be, I can just like, Funky pretzels. I don't know. You're just not going to let those pickles go, I swear. <laughs> oh. oh, that came out so wrong. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a legging design. It's be... middle fingers. So I'm thinking about putting that up there. You have leggings and fingers? Middle fingers. It's all middle fingers. Oh, middle fingers. Oh. I'm not making that into a backpack. You, you should do a checkerboard design. I mean, it is NASCAR season. Yeah, right, here we go. Checkered leggings. Um, I yes, you can. The backpack falls. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm answering a question from Murphy. Um, he's asking if you can try the backpack as a sample. Um, as far as I know, it's just like everything else. You can order as a, when you're sample items. Your limits are only to, you know, how many you can do per order or how many orders per month, and that depends on how many sales you're making. Did you make that video about how to make the pant like the oh the new pattern thing? Mm -hmm. No, not yet. I'm boycotting oh. your channel till you do. Um, no, oh, thanks. <laughs> so there. I'm, I'm obsessed like, with I'm your honest. aquaponics video, so I can't boycott it. <laughs> I missed that. What was that? I said I'm obsessed with your aquaponics video, so I can't boycott your channel. Cool. Thank you. I'm going to get new fish this week or next week. going to go get 20 tilapia and put in the tilapia tank. Nice. Matt asked, can you, if, if you can save designs and make merch to edit later, I'm testing it out this month. They might have a feature now, but I'm not sure. They didn't before. They didn't before, but I know they've been adding a lot of features. But if you're in Dan's Facebook group, that they're always taking suggestions, so... That's a suggestion you can definitely throw in there. Yeah. Jeff, do you know if we, oh, you already answered that one. Oh, and I did want to share one thing too. If you guys, I use Merch Lister Pro. If you're, especially if you're getting up there, there, and I've, I, I had 
the monthly thing where I was paying every month, and I found out you can pay one time. There's like a one time fee. Where is it? If you go to the uh, New Demony site or yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go to the gum um, website, yes, okay. How do I close that? Let me share. Um, so if you go to their site on Gumroad, I have it linked below. Um, it's 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 a one time fee of what is it thirty something, thirty four ninety seven. But I went and um, switched, and so I'm not going to get billed every month anymore. Because who would want that instead of thirty five bucks? So right, I spent too much money this month. I have to wait. Yeah, <laughs> well, not that, but but I'm glad I did. I'm glad I well it was. I'm glad I reached out and said, "Hey, I don't want to pay every month. I want a one-time fee like this thing." So they switched it for me. And uh, on that note, uh, Pretty Merch launched their ISO app. I don't. I downloaded it. the The one issue, and if the dude is watching, this is the one thing I would try to do: is just like Pretty Merch. Now you have to. Amazon's going to log you out. Same thing on the app. It's going to log you out after a while. You have to log back in. The problem I have with the app is it doesn't remember your password like your web browser does. And uh, I can't remember my password half the time anyway. So I know you can set your apps up to use the little thumb print, log in with thumbprint so you don't have to remember your password. Implement that on your app and it will be a cool, it'll be a cool app for when you're on the go. Like I haven't downloaded the Pretty Merch app yet. Yeah, that's that's it. Um, you like all it does is show show you what you've sold today. It doesn't have all the other features that the browser has. All it does is show you the items you bought today. And if you happen to be logged in, it's supposed to ching or something. Oh, okay. You get a sale. It, it does. It does ching. I had it. I honestly, um, probably about midway through November, I turned it off. Um, mm -hmm. I, I took it off the thing because it was counting, and, and maybe this was just my prehistoric phone, but it was counting the previous day's sales along with the current day sale. And it, and in my mind, I'm like, oh, crap, I sold 42 shirts today. And it's like, <laughs> no, you didn't, jerk. You just, <laughs> you're missing 20 like from yesterday. So I just, I honestly... Well, the ISO app is not doing that right now. So it was just released last week, I think. But the password is going to stop me from using it. Because at least on a browser, it remembers my password. I just have to click log back in. So fix it, and I'll promote your app. Because <laughs> honestly, pretty much to me, the browser version has been the best plug-in or extension or anything for merch. Yeah. I mean, I use it constantly. And that, and that now he's probably going to change it and start logging all our data and stealing all our shirts and everything. And now wow. he's gained our trust. <laughs> I don't even know who he is or what country he's in. Or what? We need a picture of him somewhere so we know who we're talking about. Gosh. Here. Here Invite him on the show someday. Okay. There he is. All right. I want your data. Give me your data. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Margaret, he's got your um, he's got your picture up on like the Chrome extension when you when you see like who's downloaded it. It's got okay. you bright as day. No, yeah, well, because he he had asked me this was uh, back when he was first setting it up if I would do a a thing a review of it. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'll do a review. So. Yeah. Do you well, want to with all the Facebook yeah. data that's going through the news right now? Just kind of scares you a little bit. No, it's got not. access to all our accounts. Whatever, it doesn't scare me. Everybody, it's it's just being more televised now. You think they're not doing that already? Oh, I know they are. Okay. That's why I only do porn on my iPad, so it's harder to track. But nobody wants to know what kind of porn you're looking at. They want to know what your bank account is. <laughs> Somebody else talk. <laughs> <laughs> I would lose my mind if I was so worried about that. I mean, it's just like you said, they can get whatever they want to get. 
Yeah, if you use a Google account on your phone, you can go to Google, log into your Google account, and you can go back 10 years and find out where you've been, how you got there, you know, everything. So I, I just don't care anymore, <laughs> to be honest with you. Just as long as they don't take my merch account, I'm happy. Right. Yeah. That's my livelihood. There's no secrets. There's no privacy. There's it's an illusion. <laughs> That's all. So no, I'm not worried about it. I'm not doing anything bad or illegal or looking at dirty stuff like Jeff. So what? <laughs> and I'm not paying attention. I'm reading the chat. Lucy cares is Margaret, can you make that for me? But I don't know what that is, so <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the only thing I remember talking about is the backpack. So once <laughs> you teaches me how yeah, to make a backpack for them. I mentioned the uh, Printful app last week, but they haven't done any. They haven't launched it yet, and they haven't done any improvements on it yet. So I sent them my two cents for beta testing. I must have missed it because somebody else answered. Survey this month. What was that? Oh, Casey Care, I see it now. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's too late for that. I don't know what time it is where you are, but it's my bedtime. Yeah, it's still daylight outside. No, well, not here. Daylight savings crap. It's got me messed up big time. I'll be outside working on the garden and look at my watch, and it's 7 o'clock, 7.30. I missed dinner. I need to be get ready for bed now. 7.30. I thought I was bad. Okay. No, I go to bed actually about 8.39 now. I'm trying to go to bed and go to sleep rather than go to bed and play on the iPad for an hour or two. Candy Crush for the win. Do you pay money into Candy Crush? I know this is off topic. No. Nope. Nope. No, me either. You're in Candy Crush? I had to stop my wife from doing that. Putting That's money? That's the craziest thing. Yes, I had to stop her from doing that. Yeah. I did it once. Like that's terrible. When I was stuck on a level for a week. I finally <laughs> get a little money to extend the time so I can finish it. But that Your was wife just one. Paying in, into it, there, Nick. Say it again. Your wife was paying into it. Candy Crush and Diner Dash. <laughs> I don't know Diner Dash. Uh, just. I never see you on set. Candy Crush Sega, though, Maggie. Do I have to sign in? I don't want them knowing my data. It's my personal data. But I need friends to send me new lives. I'm not sending you anything. Does it take away my lives? No. Oh, okay. I'll send you a life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get to the end. There's like 4,000 levels. I'm only on 1,800 or something. What happens when you get to the end? You wait a week, there'll be more levels. <laughs> I have a theory. Only one person has done it so far. What? Only one person has made it to the end of Candy Crush so far. Was it Nick's wife? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> she paid for it. It was on the news. It was on Facebook or something. Oh. Yeah, I paid for Pokemon Go too back in the day. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, earlier someone was asking what was on your shirt, Nick. Oh, this is this is a shirt uh, from uh, the Heart Walk for the American um, Cancer Society. So it was called Building a Healthy Heart. Oh, so you're almost there. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Even though it was like three years ago. <laughs> but it's a Porton company, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Matt's got a question, a for real merch question. No, what, no. What's your strategy? For the second quarter. Same as the first quarter. Is it? Just keep on plugging away. I don't have a strategy. Honestly, uh, go on, Nikki, you tell yours. No, I was just gonna say, uh, second quarter, I'm gonna focus less on trends and more on building. Uh, like I was doing pretty well on building, you know, a couple of the brands that I had, and I kind of let it slip. 
So I really want to kind of get those going because I want to have my standalone sites going really strong by the time fourth quarter comes around. So I'm focused on brands and pushing to those specific niches. That's a good one. I've got a couple of niche websites up and I haven't touched them since I launched them. Yeah, mine is, I honestly, I'm a big question mark right now because we're getting ready to move. I'm surrounded by boxes. So I don't know. I mean, if I get some shirts uploaded, that'll be good. That's my strategy. Get, do one new shirt a day and two or three reloads a day. Make that a goal. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here's why. I have a reason. That's too much work right now. I would oh. have one new design that I could scale and use my Merch Lister Pro just to fill in all the blanks because that'll be quick. Fine. Just do one upload a day, whether it's new or a re-upload. Just set that as a goal. Okay, that I can do. I mean, reload, you should be able to do two or three. Yeah, I just don't want to have to think too hard because right now my brain's like on explode mode. My dad's getting, they kicking him out of the nursing center, rehab nursing center tomorrow. So, whatever. That. I make my just concentrate on the move right now. Get how back to it. Worry about the move right now. Yeah, I know. I just I, you. I, I think I put too much pressure on myself. You, you have an iPad, right? I, I somewhere. Or your laptop while you're sitting on the toilet. Upload a shirt. I'm a lady. I never sit on the toilet. Mm -hmm. Ever. You're laying in bed right before you go to sleep. Upload a shirt. Or re-upload a shirt. There's always time to do it without thinking. When your husband's driving, upload a re-upload a shirt. I guess so. Yeah. Don't let your business fall just because of a move. All right. Well, hmm. I'm in favor of the re-uploads. I think that's a good idea. I think that's that an evergreen is doing pretty well right now. That's on its third re-upload. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't upload new every day, so I'm, I wouldn't push you there because I'd feel hypocritical. But I will motivate you on the re-uploads. You might as well get those because there's no real work for that. I mean, I, I enjoy playing on Make Merch. So if I'm, if I just don't feel like I can like pull out Adobe Illustrator and try to get fancy, like going on Make Merch is just kind of like fun for me. So I could get in there and kind of play around with stuff. Yeah, one new shirt a week and one or two new reel uploads a day. That's your goal for the next this month. Okay. I'll let you know how that goes by next week. Yeah, we'll hammer you every day. Let's go to the chat. <laughs> I mean, you see how hard it is just for me to get our show on every week now. I don't know. Things have been crazy. It's okay that there's train sounds. I got kids in the background. Okay, we have a question by Murphy saying yeah. blah, 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 blah. Black or dark shirts with white or light text. And has anyone noticed seasonal color changes? Do people wear lighter and brighter colors in the spring or the summer? That's a good question. Yeah, I haven't noticed anything. I'm still selling tons of dark shirts with white on it and occasionally a pink shirt. That's usually a woman. Most of mine are dark. I have one fruit shirt that sells, that's on like a blue, green, gray shirt that sells on. Yeah, today was, I only had three sales, and two are dark, either black or heather gray, and then one purple shirt. Can you click those? No, you can't click those. Hey, Secure asked if I've been able to get enough plastic boxes. No, oh. I'm surrounded by cardboard, and I'm, my skin is crawling. So, on Pretty Merch, if you click one of your sales, is that the color they, yeah, I guess so. There's like they, little they, dots next to it. If you look on top unit sold. Yeah. Yeah, but, the color dot. Because this one, I have a shirt, the little dot looks like Heather Gray to me. 
mm-hmm. and it's a women's shirt. When I click it, it comes up men's red. So that can't be right. Men's cranberry. That can't be right. I don't see where you clicked it. Well, the shirt is hyperlinked. So you can click the shirt and go to the listing page. That doesn't necessarily correlate to the one that's sold. That's just the one that's presenting in that yeah. image. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with that because that was a hoodie. But see, that's a hoodie. And it shows it. As, I guess I thought it was purple, but it can't be purple. There's no purple hoodies. I don't know what color that. I guess it's black. Mm-hmm. Top unit sold. Oh, crap. Yeah, okay. Yeah, other than some light grays, everything is pretty much darker. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unless you can't get green, you know, St. Patrick's Day shirt. But. If I click my top unit sold for, I guess, the past 30 days, they're all blacks or heather grays, mm-hmm. except for maybe a couple purples and a couple pinks. And I have everything listed in almost every color. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd say dark. Dark is where it's at. Let's see, Kara. Do a shirt with an Easter egg hatching different colored pickles with faces. That sounds good. I. It sounds like fun to make. I don't know that I can get it up in time. That's what she said. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry she said that to you. So. <laughs> I mean, you you never know. Like, I'd say go ahead and throw it up anyway. I mean, I sold a St. Patrick's shirt today. That's true. Uh, I put a St. Patrick's Day up on St. Patrick's Day. Hasn't sold yet. It's up there. Yeah. I may ha- I may have to ask if we can call it call it short today. Call the show short. Why? We got 13 minutes. I know, but I have children that are up super late. You're in Texas, let them go. <laughs> so you're moving. No, I'm not going to go there. Never mind. Go where? What? Tell me. Oh, nothing. No, bad taste. Sorry. You, bad taste. I'm always in good taste. Yeah, That's I'm not going to say it. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Was it a liberal joke? Was it a liberal thing? No, it wasn't a liberal thing. Okay, okay. All right. Go I ahead. wouldn't go there ever. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Um, Rop and Reseller was asking, what is the success rate for your re-uploads? He says, mine often don't sell the second time. That's a she. She? Okay. You? Me. Personally, I re-upload everything, and... I've had shirts that still haven't sold, but I've had shirts that have sold on the third and fourth time. So I, I have the slots. I will continue to re-upload. Yeah, most of mine I re-upload. I, there, there's a few. Like when I did, there was a certain shark shirt that I did. Um, I made a bunch of different ones in that niche, and some of them sold. You know, different variations. And then some of them didn't. So I, that one, I'm like, eh, maybe I don't re-upload some of those. But then, like, my Zodiac ones, I'll re-upload. I have ones that are themed based on the 50 states. So, like, if Pennsylvania didn't sell, I'll re-upload Pennsylvania. Yeah. I um, felt like a kid in a candy store because I didn't realize how much good stuff I actually had that just didn't sell. So, But I, I don't scale all of them immediately. So I'll just kind of go back through, upload them all, and then if one sells, then I'll go ahead and do, I'll scale it, do the hoodies and, the, you know, everything like that. But um, like I said, this most recent one, it's been selling like hotcakes, and this is my third time uploading it. It didn't sell at all the first two times. So, that's you know, you just never know. Yeah. I mean, that's a good idea, like, Let's say I just made one, or maybe it was a design I bought. I have one that has to do with pork butt. That's so, you know, I'm like, that might be something that once it sells, you're like, oh, okay, maybe I should make a few more shirts, designs that are similar to that to put up, you know? 
Yeah. It's worth a try. I'm going through now and make and making sure all my designs are up with everything, hoodies, sweatshirts, everything. I um, started with the highest seller and then worked my way down. I'm now into designs I've only sold one. And when I re-upload a shirt that hasn't sold, I go ahead and put them up on all, all, all styles at that time anyway. Um, Matt's asking, he says Nick or Jeff, but Margaret, you can answer too if you know the answer. I'm just aware of I know. How to put up a link in Instagram within the photo. I know the answer to this one, but I'm not going to answer it just because he didn't include me. <laughs> well, I have no clue. I haven't played with Instagram. I've been really lazy with Instagram lately. I just sent everybody back to the bio like I, because all of my Instagram ones are for brands. So maybe you should redirect the question, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I use that, uh, and I forget what it's called, Linktree or something. Yeah. And I put that in my bio of Instagram. It links to all my different platforms. Uh, I put, I put the, you know, I know it's not hyperlink, but I put the link to my store, my website in all my posts. So maybe you should ask Margaret, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Take the hint, Matt. <laughs> my flowers are Gerber daisies and I like dark chocolate. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> chippy, Matt. Um, what I think it is, is that um, I think you have to have a certain number of subscribers or a certain number of followers. Like they, It's like you unlock certain things that you can do after you've gotten so many followers. And if I'm wrong, please call me on this. But I think that's what it is. Just like certain people can have other, I don't know, there's, there's certain things you can do as far as live videos and things like that. Um, not live videos, but there's something else you can do too. Like once you hit... A certain number of subscribers you can follow it. I think that's what it is. So. I'm, thinking that I'm not nowhere near there, but yeah, yeah. It's like YouTube, you don't get money anymore unless you have so many followers and so many watch minutes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let me look. I'm gonna look it up right now. Direct link photos on Instagram. That would be cool because I just bought a plugin for my WordPress sites that. Um, makes it more Pinterest friendly, and I think it will do bio. Not sure, but it makes Pinterest see your, your products as products instead of posts. So it puts the price up there, and I don't think it puts a buy button though. I think only Shopify does that right now. Hmm. Spent a lot of money on that plugin. It better work. Yeah. There's a site called Going Tech or Guiding Tech. How to add links to your Instagram story and posts. Yeah. But I, I think that's what it is. I think you have to have a certain number of followers. Yeah, okay. don't ask us, Google it. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that's what it is. Because I know when certain people gain more followers, they have more freedom, you know. That's something I want. I want WooCommerce to come out with a plugin so that we can have viable pins like Shopify. That would be cool. Hmm. Murphy Desky says, any guess if the extended features will only apply to business Instagram accounts or personal accounts? Do that too. That's a good question. I'm guessing business accounts. I don't know. Well, mine's a business account. Yeah, so is mine. I have it. Yeah, me neither. I've got like four business accounts. So none of them on it. Okay, for real. For real? Yeah, let's call it because I have to do this. I have to do what? Oh my gosh, don't make me. You got five minutes. I can make you sit there for five minutes. All right. Marg is going to throw a fit. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to call it tonight, guys. <laughs> Five minutes early. This is history. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit there. <laughs> now I threw a fit. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Any more questions before Margaret calls it? Thanks so much for watching, you guys. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> go there, follow Nick Eden. I don't know if he commented in the, in the chat or not, but his channel's Nick Eden. He does merch in a minute on his YouTube channel. And Jeff is Jeff Davidson, and he's going to do an awesome video for us soon about how to do all of our prints for Printful. And do splotch patterns. Splotch patterns, yes. And thanks, everybody, for coming to hang out. And again, apologies for, for calling it late but or early, whatever. It's, it's time. Got to do it. Any time is a good time. Yeah. All right. Always a good time. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Yeah, guys. Bye.